It has been another hot day to start the weekend here in Central Virginia. A little front that slid into the area brought some storms yesterday and one or two showers popping up today. This is kind of washing out tonight and there's more activity the farther south you go. This area of high pressure trying to bring a little drier air into our neighborhood. Certainly the big story is down in Texas. Hurricane Hannah about to make landfall should do so within the next two hours. Maximum sustained winds now up to 90 miles an hour and latest check. It is just 15 miles north of Port Mansfield. So again, going to make landfall within the next 60 to 90 minutes, most likely, and then it's going to move inland over the next 24 hours, kind of rain itself out. So that is not coming in our direction. What is is plenty more heat. Some folks out at the diamond enjoying the movie night there. 91 degrees right now. The breeze out of the southeast at eight miles an hour. Our dew points are still in the low 70s, so it's still quite a bit humid out there. Maybe not quite as high high on the humidity level as a couple days ago, but still does it really make a difference at this point? Low 70s here in town overnight, upper 60s in some rural areas. Tomorrow the heat intensifies. You remember those numbers in the upper 80s and even some triple digits from about five to seven days ago. Those are coming back, maybe upper 90s across parts of the area tomorrow. The heat index could go as high as 105. Look at this stretch now of 90 degree weather. We have seen 16 days in a row when you count today. The second longest stretch in Richmond history is 19. I think we'll get past that. I don't think we're going to make it to the longest stretch, which was back in 1995 when we had 27 days. There are signs that we'll have a little relief from the heat later on in the week, and Friday is the day to watch. Final day of July may actually break this streak, but quite a run here over the next several days. The beach is going to look pretty good tomorrow. The water temperatures coming up into the low and mid 80s, mainly sunny skies. Top temperatures will be near 90 at the ocean front. Throw on that sunscreen either at the beach or up in the mountains tomorrow. Upper 80s in the mountains, early fog. Otherwise, skies will be mainly sunny tomorrow. Tonight, we've had a few very, very isolated showers again. 90% of us probably not going to catch any rain tonight. Pretty quiet when you wake up in the morning. Skies will be partly cloudy and then during the afternoon there may be a few dots on the map. So again an isolated storm a possibility. I think the chances are less than 20%. Things are pretty quiet going into Monday and Tuesday. Again the big story will be the heat. But there's a lot going on in the tropics. Gonzalo which made headlines this week is just kind of falling apart over the Caribbean and that is not going to be talked about any longer. You may have heard what's going on in the Pacific, there's a hurricane Douglas headed towards Honolulu. There is a hurricane warning in effect on the island of Oahu. And then here's Hannah Gonzalo about to fall apart, and we're watching yet another tropical wave in the central and eastern Atlantic. That one could develop into something this coming week, so we'll be watching that very closely. Pretty quiet. When you consider all that's going on across the world, isolated storm here in central Virginia, otherwise partly cloudy. Low 70s here in town, upper 60s in rural communities. Tomorrow, just a hot, rather humid day. Temperatures headed to the mid and upper 90s. That heat index could get between about 100 and 105 tomorrow and could exceed 105 Monday and Tuesday. We may need some heat advisories. Again, some storms later Tuesday and Wednesday. And that storm chance will hang around through much of the coming week. Here is